Hey guys, we got another battle for you today against St. Anger from Smogon. Uh, we decided to have a UU match, so that's what we're doing. He's going to leave with Zapdos. I'm going to threaten with Ice Beam. Uh, he's going to switch out. I guess he might not have the HP Ice. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like he would from switching out. I'm not sure if he just wanted to save Zapdos or what was going on, but whatever. Uh, he's going to switch into his Dust Noir. It's going to take quite a lot of damage, leaving me to believe he's either physically bulky uh, or just offensive. Um, I know he's going to want to burn me. Just because residual damage is always nice. But I'm going to go into my Vakini, who's going to take that so well. It's going to do nothing, because fire type. And that's going to be great. Uh, now I'm going to switch... Or predict him to switch in to uh, his Suicune. So I'm going to go for the Psy Shock, which is kind of weird, because I should have went for the Thunder if I was predicting Suicune. But, you know, he could have went to something else. He does have a Dawn Fan. Uh, but, again, that makes... Anyways, I didn't go for the Fire Blast. He doesn't die. He's going to hit with an Earthquake. And that sucks. So now I'm going to go for the Fire Blast because I'm convinced he's staying in, but now he goes into Suicune, and I'm like, well, shit, you know? <laughs> but Fire Blast is going to hit, thanks to Victory Star, most likely, and uh, he's going to take quite a bit of damage. And uh, unfortunately for Suicune, though, that that damage is going to be just enough where Thunder is going to kill it. And I'm not going to miss Thunder either, and Suicune is one dead legendary dog, cat, beast, mystery thing. Uh, so yeah, so <laughs> Dust Noir is going to come back out, and uh, I'm like, okay, he's going to hit me with an Earthquake, I'll uh, kill him, but he's got Shadow Snake, and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so I'm going to die, and that's never good. Dying is never good. But that's okay. I'm going to go into Dawn Fan, because I want to get my rocks up. Uh, I sort of forgot about Will-O-Wisp. I don't know, I wasn't really worried. I sort of wanted rocks up, mainly because half his team will take a quarter from it. He's going to miss his Will-O-Wisp, which is unfortunate for him, and it sucks, but it's not too big a deal. I mean, a key crit is way worse, in my opinion. But anyways, so I'm going to switch into my Melodic to take the Will-O-Wisp, because I know he's going to go for it again. And uh, I'm going to get my Marble Scale boost. Uh, and I'm going to want to try and burn him, because he is offensive, and uh, I don't want him doing much damage, and that's really my only uh, option at this point. So yeah, there's the Scald, I am not going to get the burn, and he's going to Pain Split me, so he's going to give back a whole bunch of health. But I know at this point, other than just, you know, Pain Splitting me while I keep going for the Scald is not a great option, and none of his attacks are going to do too much damage to me, because Bold, Max Defense, Marvel Scale, etc. So I know he's going to switch out, but I'm still going to go for the Scald, because whatever he switches that into is not going to enjoy it, and they're not going to enjoy the burn either. Zapdos is going to come in, going to threaten me with... Uh, you know, that nice, super effective Thunderbolt. Uh, but I'm going to go for the Scald, as I said. And he is, unfortunately, going to get burned. And, yeah. So I'm going to switch out, uh, predicting the Thunderbolt. Or maybe the Discharge. I'm not really sure which Zapdos this is. And I'm going to go into my Dawn Fan, eventually, after all these after-turn effects. Jeez, double burn, double leftovers. So, yeah. So there's Dawn Fan. I'm going to go in. And uh, he's going to hit me with a Roost, actually. <laughs> and so he's going to get back a lot of his HP, and I'm thinking, okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go with the Ice Shard, because there's no point in setting up rocks. Again, can't Rapid Spin, and Earthquake's not going to hit him. So yeah, he's going to go for the Ice Shard. It's going to do a, a nice little chunk, and again, here's where the burn really mattered. Um, but again, I mean, I have Nido King, and he's threatening as well, so... And I don't think he has HP rights because he goes for the Toxic here. So I'm not really sure. Like, the burn probably wouldn't have mattered because he wouldn't really be able to do anything to Needle King. So, eh, I don't know. He's going to hit with a Roost because he knows that he can't take two Ice Shards. And if he doesn't Roost this turn, he's going to be dead. Knowing that, I'm going to predict the Roost and go for the Earthquake. And that is going to be Stab Super Effective. All that nice bonus stuff. And he is going to die. You know, it reminds me of uh, when when you're, you know, in grade school, you're playing in the play playground that, uh, you know, uh, what was it called? The ground is lava or whatever. Yeah, you don't want to be landing around an earth or a ground type that has earthquake. Anyways, he's going to go into his Dawn Fan, and uh, he's going to take a big chunk of damage. He's going to set up his rocks. Uh, not really sure why. I mean, it's kind of late for them, and I don't really have anything that's weak to it. I mean, other than Victini that is already dead. Um, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna hit him with another Earthquake. 
Uh, I know it's not going to KO, obviously. And he's going to hit me with his Earthquake. And that's going to do a nice chunk. Um, at this point, I really don't want to take an Ice Shark because I'm not confident in, um, in, in my Ice Shark killing him. And I know his will kill me because of all that toxic damage it just took. So I'm going to switch it to Melodic. And he's going to take the Ice Shard like a champ. And that's going to be great for me. Now I wanted to rest here just to get my HP back up. And he's actually going to run. Because at this point all he's got left is Donphan. He's got a, a Scoliopede, an Arcanine, and um, something else. But I guess he figures he's uh, you know, not going to be able to beat me. And so that's okay for him. Oh, he got Dustmore. That's his last guy. And that, you know, can't really do too much damage to Melodic. So basically, he, you know, Melodic walls the rest of his team. He just ran to save some time. I kind of held off on this battle because I wasn't sure. I'm like, you know, he ran halfway through. But then I'm thinking, you know what? Just because he ran doesn't mean I didn't deserve the win. Like I said, he really had nothing to do to me for the rest of the match. And uh, again, it doesn't mean I played badly. So I wanted to showcase that, you know, nice play. Uh, I got the nice prediction on the Zapdos. Anyways, I'm rambling here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.